Uh, okay, we've got about 30 minutes before we're going to bring Ken on. So let's start with, I guess let's start with this Discord drama. How best to do that? We'll start from the beginning. So, uh, and I believe the person involved in the Discord drama is in the chat tonight. And uh, you know what? Um, I don't know how to say this. But uh, but I'm I'm sad for you. I'm sad that things worked out the way that they did. But I also do not. Uh, there's there's very little that I don't tolerate. But someone doing this is uh, is one of those things. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have you take a place to just uh, trash my business and misrepresent me. And uh, I don't know why you would want to pay to do that. But you can do that wherever you want. I mean, you can do it in the chat, I guess. Um, you can, you can do what, whatever you want to do. Uh, but, uh, you're not going to do that in my discord. So that's not where it's going to happen. And also, uh, literally just about everybody who talked about it was asking me to remove you. And I, I said, no, I said, no. So uh, then you, you went on your weird little rage fit. So here's what happened. This, uh, this person was in Discord and was, uh, I guess, relatively new to the Discord. I don't know. Was relatively new to the Discord. They were in there and uh, people started, someone came on the show to super chat to me to tell me that there was some sort of autism going on in the Discord. And uh, that someone was so disruptive that they needed, they needed some sort of solution. So I, I had no idea what was going on. No idea. So I go to check into it, and I'm greeted with a bunch of people saying, someone is being extremely disruptive in the uh, Discord. You can't even have a conversation. So uh, what's, what's the solution? How do you fix it? I'm like, I don't know. Block them. Because that seems, that seems normal, right? Just block the person, and then who cares? Uh, if you don't like what they say, you don't like them, whatever it is, you're having a bad day, block a person. Doesn't matter. Except, and this is the part that is Discord's fault. If you block someone on Discord, every time they send a message, it still shows you that a message came through, that it's blocked. So what this person was doing was just endlessly typing tons and tons of messages so that there were just tons and tons of things between people's talk. Now, again, this is in the general chat uh, and, and there's, so it's still, it's got the same effect. It's not even about what the person is saying. That has nothing to do with it. It's, uh, it's, it's about how they were utilizing Discord to disrupt everybody's enjoyment of it, right? So it's like, it's like you go into McDonald's and you buy chicken nuggets and then you just start, I don't know, um, like you buy a thousand chicken nuggets and then just dump them on the floor in front of the bathroom or whatever. And people are like, but why would you do this? Like, it's just annoying. And then you're like, oh, okay, so you buy a thousand more chicken nuggets and then you dump them, uh, you know, 150 of them on every table or something. I don't know. I don't know why, like, it, it, again, it blows my mind. It, it, I don't understand what possesses uh, someone to intentionally disrupt something that, that they're choosing to participate in. But th that's, that's what was going on. So my, you know... My solution to all this is typically pretty simple. Is, uh, is I say, well, if you're going to come in and, and shit up the place, hopefully people will just bully you out. And that's where I left it. That's where I left it. And uh, the person was actually talking to me um, when that happened. And they said, you know, it's your place. You do what you got to do, lol. If you need to ban me or whatever, you, you go ahead and ban me. And I, you know, I wasn't going to. And 
at this point in time, several long Discord members had already left because of this person. They, they left. Active participants in the Discord left the server entirely because this person was such a, uh, such a catch you next Tuesday, I guess. So, um, and I know this is the stupidest drama, but you know, it's, it's a reality. It happened. So, so that's why we're talking about it. But, uh, so I'm, I'm still saying at this point, even though I know this is potentially damaging my business, right? That, that these other members are quitting because of this person. I still, I'm like, well, you know, that's, that's the nature of it, right? That's the thing. Well, it kept being a problem. It kept being a problem after that. And, um, and so then people wanted some sort of solution. So the solution that the mods and I came up with uh, on some suggestions was to just have a separate channel for a specific conversation. We already have channels for conversations about anime where all the degenerates go and talk about food all day or whatever. We have uh, comic skate conversations. We have, you know, various channels that can have more specific. There's a cooking channel or whatever for people to share recipes and stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't matter in the general chat. So it's like, okay, we'll, we'll create a place for spurgery. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll just have that. Um, in the meantime, in the meantime, if someone is absolutely, uh, destroying the chat, well, then they'll get a They'll get a timeout. They'll get a little timeout. And, uh, this person received a timeout for an hour and a timeout, by the way, um, still gives you access to a couple specific server rooms. So you're not like thrown out of the discord. You're just timed out from the general chat for a little bit. Uh, and, and there are, because, you know, there are various rules that have to be followed on discord. Uh, and, and that's, that's one way to manage those rules. Like if you post not safe for work content in a channel that isn't 18 plus, uh, you get, you get kicked out of that channel for a little bit. You can go to the 18 plus channel and you can post whatever you want in there. That's fine. Um, you just have to post it in the right place to be within the rules. But again, it wasn't about what the person was saying. It wasn't the content of the speech uh, that had anything to do. It was, it was them being disruptive in general. And so uh, I'm asleep during all this. This is, I, you know, I had my show and then I had my Twitch show and then I went to bed. So I wake up after this person had gotten a timeout. And, uh, and by the time I wake up, they have waged, they have decided to wage war. And that is, that is one of the actual quotes. Uh, here we go. Where is it? So uh, I get this message. Okay, diplomacy has failed. Now we try war. This is uh, this is him talking to one of the moderators. Keck, is, is that a threat? Yes. I will now be contacting as many customers of rackets as possible to dissuade them and any other method I can think of. Fuck you, people. And so I'm like, okay, get out then. Um, get out. At that point, where is what? What is happening with this thing? So then, uh, here we go. Here's some more. This is some, some stuff in the general chat. Mind you, again, I haven't even been in the Discord during this time. Shameless, lie to people, take their money, then laugh in their face about it and ban them if they notice. When CPS takes your kids, you'll deserve it. Or some F-slur vaccine crew gets you red flagged or whatever F shit inevitably happens to you. So, uh... Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> now, to be very fair to this person, uh, they had sent me a message at 541 a.m. My time. 541 a.m. My time. 
and that message is included in here demanding a refund uh which which at this point um so here's 5:41 a.m. they have demanded the uh refund but prior to that they had already talked about harming my business it's it's a it's a wonky timeline but that's that's the thing and so uh yeah at that point um no no you're not getting a refund plus this person got what they paid for uh they had access to the locals they had access to the discord um this is what they were posting in some other uh other stuff here's here's what they did here's where their ultimate beef uh lies i guess they contacted my moderation team asking for a refund my volunteer moderation team of the discord who has no access to anything involving any money because while i love them all they're volunteer discord moderators i'm i color me maybe i'm overly secure on this but uh you know i don't i don't give my bank account to anybody <laughs> <laughs> my dad doesn't have access to my bank account. An anonymous Discord moderator uh, is is not going to either. They don't have that type of control over the channel, over the locals, or anything like that. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't. That's silly. But uh, they contacted them, and when they told them we can't we can't give it to you, uh, they had an absolute conniption about that. Like, of course you can. Because uh, this person doesn't perceive reality. I don't know. I don't know. Nick, you got to thank the mods. Uh, yes, uh, you're all gay. And you, you know it. So, there you go. Because um, all mods are. Uh, so, so, I DM'd Soder who was awake. I DM'd other mods. I was explicitly told, go see Soder. He'll give you a refund. Yeah, people were wrong. Uh, Soder can't give you a refund. Not at all. He says, uh, <laughs> that wasn't the question, you dumb F slur. Did you DM Nick directly or not? No, because when Soder told me no, I knew there was no refund. I'm not an r -tard. Well, you know what's amazing about that is Soder telling you no has no impact on whether or not you'd get a refund. Literally zero. Literally, it's nothing. No possibility. Like, he has no say in it at all. Um... He probably told you no because you called him the N-word a whole bunch. <laughs> Just to guess. that, And this is going to be the unsung story behind all this. I'm making out very politely how this went down. Uh, you'll see some of, the, some of the language used in the chat. But imagine going up to the customer service desk at a Target and being like, I want you to... Return this shirt, you Nigerian. Like, this is not going to work for you. It's not going to happen. I promise you, Target is not going to take your return. It won't happen. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a terrible plan. I can, I can give you any thousand other ways to do it than that. <laughs> but it's just not... So, like... uh <laughs> One of his complaints, and this is the, this is a, the funny part of it. One of the ways I, I advertise the Discord, this, this guy's right. I say, you can make fun of the mods, you can make fun of me, you can make fun of everybody, and you can. But if you say a bunch of nasty stuff about a moderator and then ask them to do something for you, guess what? Part of the whole, like, you can make fun of the mods thing is that most of my mods will just call you an F slur right back and tell you to eat shit, you stupid baby. They, <laughs> it's not, free speech goes both ways. When you get to say whatever you want, they're not signing up to be uh, punching bags of abuse. They get to be a boxing opponent and abuse you back. And especially if you deserve it. It's such a silly, such a silly thing. <laughs> Michael Rowland, dude, you shut me down and paid like a two hundred dollars. Who? <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, you can uh, you can 
make fun of the mods and they'll make fun of you back. I don't recommend it. It's not the best course of action if you need something. Like if if you get a timeout and you uh you say, "Hey, you you dumb f slur n word, how dare you give me a timeout? Get me out." They're going to say, "Lol, no." Yeah, sorry. You walked into a disproportionate amount of power. So, uh next <laughs> the the e dad bot in this server makes me really happy. <laughs> I'm not an R dart. Hi, not an R dart. I'm an e dad. I'm e dad bot. <laughs> Zero replies from Nick ever. By the way, yeah. And again, all of this happened while I was asleep. I I wasn't even awake. The first thing I wake up to is this person apparently waging war. So I hadn't even seen their DMs yet. And Soder will at best type two words for you. Both can be summarized as uh, F you, we have your money, Lamau. Uh, yeah, that's good. I, I fully approve that message. Um, also, uh, Soder is a person with a job who volunteers to moderate a Discord in whatever little free time that he has uh, just because. So um, the fact that he didn't answer you with like a giant paragraph of text, um, I d sorry. Not uh, not that concerned about it. Not that concerned about it. Uh, Fenrir Lycro says, just got off a 17-hour shift, so here's some money, uh, some of my soon-to-be overtime money. Thankfully, the stream will keep me awake on my way home. God bless you, your family in the chat. Yeah, stay awake on the way home, buddy. Uh, but thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Um, all right, so here's where we get to those DMs and, uh, and my responses to them when I finally got around to it. And you'll notice the uh the timeline okay um so he says i'm not paying five dollars a month for a service a fat retard can take away from me anytime he gets mad with zero recourse i don't know what this actually says uh i'll super chat or something fuck this gay shit okay again don't don't that's what i say in all of these circumstances, if you don't like the, the locals product, if you don't like the Patreon, if you don't like something I do, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it. Oh my God. Why would you buy something that you don't like? I don't, I don't get it. I can't zoom in. That's the uh, frustrating part of this. But I'm going to read to it. I'm going to read it to you. Uh, because I can't zoom in. Like, look. Notice what happens. This thing gets bigger, but the, this caps out. So it's, it's just how it works. Uh, here we go. Reddit mods are more accountable than this. Embarrassing. These are all at, uh, let's see, 5.41 a.m., 6.01 a.m., uh, and then 4.12 p.m. Um, this is when I announced, this is about the time I announced that this person was getting banned. Please refund the four months of local subscription I paid under false pretenses based on false advertising. I've watched your show since 2017, and now that I know you will lie to your audience to get their money, I will not be watching anymore. Dun, dun, dun. No, liar. Join the locals' Discord. It's free speech. You can insult the mods as much as you want. You can. You can. Guess what? You weren't removed. You weren't even timed out for insulting the mods. Nothing about it at all had anything to do with you insulting the mods. Uh, lied told to solicit business, a.k.a. false advertising. First of all, that's not how false advertising works. Second of all, wasn't a lie. You can insult the mods. People do it literally daily. I do it all the time. Refund my money, scammer. So then I come in. Look, this guy's use very coarse and crass language. Uh, and, and I have to come in and be the voice of reason, right? I have to come in, be the, be the dad in the room, calm down the situation. And I know exactly how to do that. My response was, get fucked, you fucking liar. Which I thought was good. That was, uh, that's, that's correct. Uh, so then... He says, I have told zero lies. You have told one that I know of. 
You are a liar who will gladly say something he knows is not true to get money. I really, really, I was, you know what I was doing? Actually, since 2017, I've been building up to this. I was like, okay, uh, how do I get $5 out of this one guy? That's what I want to do. I really, God, I just, I'm trying to get $5 out of him. What do I do? I know I'll lie and tell him he can insult the mods. And then in three years, he'll sign up for my discord after hearing the lie over and over again that you can insult the mods and then I'll get his $5. Yes. Oh, I nailed it. God, it was good. It was good. Um, he says, uh, to get money from people who would not give it if he didn't say it. This is a fact. Have literally any shame about this dude? Nope. Uh, none. In fact, I have so little shame that I will go ahead and post everything. Uh, I, I post it all because, you know, transparency or whatnot. This is, this is what it is. If you don't like it, that's fine. Go somewhere else. No one's stopping you. But I'm not going to give you your money back. How could I win Grifting Champion of 2021 with, uh, with, with giving you your money back? Not going to happen. Uh, it says, nope, you are a pile of garbage. You shit up my server and I actually defended you. You can fuck right off. So again, uh, I, I've got to come in with these calming words of reason. Um, heels versus baby faces drama heel. I sent you a message on Insta, buddy. Hit me back. Hit me back. Um, says you defended nothing. You didn't even DM me back before telling any, everyone I'm a liar and banning me. Nope. That's correct. I did not. And, uh, first of all, I hadn't even seen your DMS at the time. Had no idea that you had sent them because literally the first thing I woke up to was you waging war uh, in, in, in some weird sort of, uh, I don't know, pathetic kind of way. Like that's what I woke up and I, I, you know, I wake up, I hang out with my family for a little bit. I make sure there's nothing I need to do around the house. If I have the opportunity to get to Discord uh, or Locals, I'll pop in for a moment. And the first time that happens is somewhere around 4 p.m. my time that day. So it's the first time I even sat down and it's the first thing I'm confronted with is you being a fucking moron. So yeah, uh, I n or so no, I guess I didn't DM you. I didn't respond to your very important DMs. I, I, I'm not sorry about that. Uh, let's see. There is no audience to perform for here, Nick, just yo and me. And we both know what reality is. So don't play retard games. You advertise your Discord using explicit statements that are objectively false. This, do you see, by the way, how this person might disrupt a Discord server? This was 4.38 p.m. He responded at 4.38 p.m. Boom, 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 boom. 4.40 p.m., one line. 4.40 p.m., boom, 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 boom. I wonder how in shit people were being disrupted on a discord server uh with with this i i wonder wonder how or why this person could not effectively communicate with people uh okay let's say uh you advertise your discord using explicit statements that are objectively false that you know are objectively false refund my money you scam artist liar five months 25 bucks so then at 4.47 p.m., so that took, that took seven minutes for me to respond. I definitely will not refund the money of someone who's attempting to lie about me to cause my business harm. You got everything you paid for. Simple. No lie. The comment you were referencing was made after three hours of asking for a refund and being told no by scam artists. By volunteer moderators who couldn't do it. They have no power to give you a refund. How do you think, like, uh, how do you think a Patreon or Discord, uh, or exclusive Discord works? Like, how, what level of, do you think this is like a retail operation? Like, you go into a mom and pop store, go into an independently owned grocery store and ask for a refund from the cashier. 
and they're going to, or better yet, the meat guy. Go to the meat guy and ask for a refund as he's laying beef into the cooler. And then when he says no, call him the N-word and call him a retard and see if he gives you a refund after that. Like, this is such a silly thing. How dumb are you <laughs> that you think that, like, just, uh, you know, random moderators of a Discord have the ability to refund you money? It's, it's crazy town. So then, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the, yeah, telling your customers you are a scam artist in response, that is a proportional escalation. When you say no and laugh in a person's face, they don't just take the L. Oh, you're, you're taking the L. I don't know if you understand, but you definitely are taking the L on this one. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go spend $25 on baby wipes or something. Uh, they try their next appeal. Like that gay Jefferson quote on the tree flag. You mean <laughs> the tree of liberty must from time to time be watered with the blood of tyrants? That, that, that gay Jefferson quote you're talking about? Is because you you got allegedly scammed out of five dollars on Discord. That's what happened. Thomas Jefferson's like, I paid for nudes and she sent me bra and panties. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was good. Uh, that was good. If you don't want your customers to hate your business, don't make them hate your business. I didn't make. I, this is the amazing thing. Up to this point, you have to understand, because this person doesn't. I have done nothing in this situation. I have done literally zero, zero things until banning this person. The first thing I came close to doing was actually saying, yeah, if people hate how you're talking on the server, they should probably just block you and get over it. There was no action taken. I didn't do anything to you. So I'm not making you hate my business. You hated it. You wanted something else and you didn't find it. That's fine. That happens from time to time. Look, if, if I went out of my way to appease every single person's single request, uh, I would have one customer, whoever was the last request I appeased, and, and it would be so hyper-specific and focused to that person. And I, I just can't, it, which should be obvious, which should be obvious. It's not even possible to do what you want. Here you go. Uh, so he says, uh, you played yourself. Yeah. Try not lying next time. So I say, if you go into Wendy's and shit on the table and then tell the Wendy's they can throw you out if they want, you don't get to be mad when they throw you out. Very, you know, very sort of simple thing. Because remember, when I talked to this person the first time, again, we'll have to backtrack just a couple times to remind you. I said, you know, I prefer if people just bully you out of the server if you're being unbearable. Because uh, I believe in social conditioning on this stuff. Social conditioning works 99% of the time. If someone sucks, a bunch of people tell them they suck, and then they stop sucking as much. It's cool. They get to the level of tolerability or they leave. One of those two things happens. And I said, um, but this person's reply to me was, if you need to get rid of me, you know, it's your thing. You get rid of me. Okay. Apparently I needed to get rid of you because you wouldn't get rid of yourself. You're just going to sit around shitting on me and, uh, and lying about what I've done and said. So, uh, since that was your choice, I guess I needed to get rid of you. You gave me permission to do this. Now you're mad about it. But you said to do it. And you're like, law won't even bother me. <laughs> you look very, very unbothered. Uh, okay. I didn't shit on any table. No, you shit on every table. I bought a Wendy's burger. I asked for the product I was promised and was instead told, law, fuck you. We keep getting your money, though. Either give me my burger or give me my money back. Now, this is where, uh, this is where, again, I notice he's getting mad. He's getting a little upset. And I have to come in with gentle hands. Gentle hands. 
I went to I went to law school. I've done mediations and negotiations between people who want to kill themselves, uh, between banks and customers, um, between people who want to kill each other, uh, between cops and criminals. I have negotiated and mediated some very tense situations. I'm professionally trained in this. And so I came in with one of the lines um, that I developed uh, as a special particular brand of my mediation negotiation strategy in law school. And this was something I worked very hard on. I said, uh, try pulling the burger out from your vagina, you fucking baby. Which that was, some, sometimes you have to just, you have to make some concessions and lay it on the table in a very nice and calm way when the other person's getting worked up. So uh, he says, that response right there is why I will now tell your customers you're a scam artist. Dude, you were already telling my customers I was a scam artist. You, you already were. <laughs> this isn't, <laughs> it's a, you're not starting here. We're several hours into you doing this. You were doing it before I was even awake. It's amazing. Uh, you could just give me the refund, but instead you are a fucking retard. No, I couldn't just give you the refund. Not anymore. Sorry, I, I don't know if you noticed this, but I'm a stubborn asshole. And if you, treat, if you treat me in a way where I have the opportunity to be a stubborn asshole, I will take you up on that offer. It's one of my favorite things to do, is to be a stubborn asshole. And so uh, I, I don't do it most of the time. Most of the time, very cordial, nice, jokey. I'll go, with, I'll go with stuff. We have a fun time. But if you give me the opportunity, I will revert right into my better, more fun nature of being a stubborn asshole. 10 times out of 10. And he says, uh, and a baby with zero shame. I thought the grifter thing was to laugh at people who call you one. I am laughing at someone who calls me one. But clearly, it's just that you are unironically a grifter and feel no shame about it. Said everything is already posted. I don't do things in the dark. So I'd, I'd made this locals post and then had to edit in a couple more things. You threatened to harm my business. You've lied about everything involved and you got what you paid for. You're not getting a refund. I lied about my, nothing. Show me one lie, Lamau. I did not get what I paid for. You did. You're just ignoring the accusation deflecting, dude. No, it, it's just wrong. I write 10 sentences detailing exactly how I believe you have scammed me and asking for a refund. Yes, and they were incorrect. That's fine. And I get one sentence, lol, fuck off, retard. <laughs> That's what I have done here is I have given you a specific lesson in efficiency. That's what happened in that exchange. You wrote 10 sentences. I wrote one. My message was conveyed very effectively. Yours after 10 sentences wasn't. So efficiency wins the day from time to time. Brevity is the soul of wit or whatever. Uh, same as with Soder. This is actually fucking shameful, dude. I said, sometimes if you're told to fuck off retard, it's because that's what you're being. No one scammed you. No one promised you anything and failed to deliver. You did. You promised a free speech discord where I can insult mods without getting banned. You, you weren't actually banned for insulting mods. You insulted mods and other people for days. You weren't banned at all for it. That, again, it's amazing, the disconnect from reality that you had in this situation. You say some variation of this every single stream. That's not true. I say it very rarely. I'm not very good at promoting uh, the Discord or Locals or Patreon or anything like that. By the way, you can join my Locals, RicadaLaw.Locals.com. You don't have to join the Discord, but right now it's in a pretty stable place. And some people actually really do value the Discord. It's a great place to meet and talk with people and all of that stuff, uh, especially when you're going through some rough times. There's a bunch of people in there who, um, who will lovingly call you an asshole uh, as opposed to begrudge or uh, angrily. And so uh, I will say it. And also, you can insult the mods without getting banned. It's cool. It's cool. Um, this is knowingly a lie. If I had known what your Discord was, I would not have paid for the service. I, d I don't know. I Discord is cancer. It's literally cancer. Uh, when you have, it's malignant. It, it ruins your life. It's everything. That, see how good I am at, at promoting it. Uh, it's, it's everything bad about society in one place. Everybody hates Discord. How did you not know what it was? Uh, let's see. So he says, uh, you engage in false advertising. 
give me my money back. The basic professionalism of refunding someone should not be contingent on you liking them. I don't even dislike you. You're just being a fucking bitch about it. <laughs> this is the problem you have. <laughs> oh my God. Anyhow, uh, so my, anyhow, this will be my last message to you. I will clip this last message and add it to the rest. Whatever you type in hereafter will be ignored. I don't tolerate people lying to harm my business. I don't respond to threats. And I certainly won't take bullshit accusations from someone who I defended after knowing they directly cost me subscribers. You had your fun. You ruined the experience of a bunch of people for the sole purpose of being a massive cunt. You shit on the table. When I brought it up, you told me to do what I want because it's my thing. I tried to let you be. You couldn't stop yourself because you have some crippling deficiency. And now I will throw you out because even though you got to stay after shitting on the table, you then tried to lie and say no one let you shit on the table. Peace, brother. I hope you find a cure for your insecurities. And there you go. There you go. That's, that's the end of that conversation. There is, uh, <laughs> there's some, this, this is a contextual picture. Uh, I want it, when I posted this, well, maybe we'll, we'll look at the post that I made, uh, because it's got, it's got that last picture's context. So here's my post on locals. All of these images, by the way, are publicly available. It's not a subscriber only post. You can see what I said about uh, the situation. It's all out there. Like I said, I do this stuff transparently. It just doesn't ever happen. So it's near impossible to get banned from my discord. I've tolerated trolling and unpalatable speech to the detriment of my own business model by costing me subscribers in the name of free speech. And this is not the first time I've done that. This is not the first time I've, I've done that. There are several people who have left the server at a previous time because of a previous asshole. Uh, and, and you know, um, just cause someone is an asshole doesn't mean I'm going to throw them out. That's just being a prick does not get you thrown out. Just expressing an opinion, even an unpopular one, just, just being a shithead to people doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. When this chump entered the server, there are at least three people who left because of this idiot's uncontrollable urge to be a pile of garbage. I took no action. I didn't ban this person. I even suggested the people complaining about it were part of the problem. And they were. They absolutely were. Uh, they, they were feeding into this issue. It was wasting everybody's time. But, I, I mean, I, I get it. Discord sucks for putting that blocked message bullshit in and allowing it to be, uh, to, allowing someone to continue disrupting someone that, they've, that has blocked them. That's, that's the opposite of what a block should do. But hey, it, it is what it is. So I said, I do not censor speech. Today, this person was banned for threatening to lie about me to harm my business. I never received a direct message until 5.41 a.m. today. I never received a request for a refund until that message, which is attached. I've never even received a complaint from this person. Update, one final thing I found is in the last picture. It's a post from the user in question. You'll note the time is nine hours ago, which is approximately 8.45 a.m. my time. I did not even see anything about this until approximately 3 p.m. my time. Anyone who thinks I'm awake prior to 9 a.m. is kidding themselves. Just in case anyone was curious when his accusation started, since he's also trying to obscure the facts about his experience. He was already impugning my business and my integrity over six hours before I had even had a chance to interact with him. In fact, the only time I spoke to this person was in general chat and was me saying that I didn't want to ban anyone and this person saying it was my business and I could do whatever I want. Apparently, they don't think so. All relevant communications are attached. So, there is that. There is that. That is, uh, that is a thing. It is a thing that happened. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, you know, again, I don't, I don't get it. Um, some people, some people just, uh, I, I don't know, maybe he had a bad day or whatever. He's welcome back to the discord. If he ever wants to come back, uh, if he's not going to be an absolute raging vagina about it, but I doubt I somehow doubt, I think maybe, uh, maybe this interplay between us has, has tainted his uh, perspective and he probably doesn't want to be there. But, you know, that's, that's the rub sometimes. It's very unfortunate. 
It's very unfortunate. But that being said, uh, again, no. Uh, if, you, if you go into a store, any store on the planet, and you start calling them a bunch of obscene names, and then ask them to help you, they don't help you. They don't want to. They don't need to. And they don't have to. You don't, you don't have to do it. Uh, Kek says, if you want me to come talk about the Discord drama last chance before I head to bed. No, I think we're good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring uh, Ken Jennings in to talk his issue in just a second. We'll move, the, the Discord drama is basically done at this point. But uh, yeah, again, I do things transparently. I do them in the open. And uh, I don't know. I, I found this whole situation. This is, this is what I hate about Discord. You know what would be really great? If I could do it, and I can't. It, it's not actually allowed. And the problem is how Discord handles these things is what makes it really frustrating. But if I could, I would create a Discord server. And everything would just be the wild, wild west. That would be, that would be fantastic. No rules. Nothing. Nothing at all. The problem is if you do that, Discord will eventually find the wrong thing and they will shut your server down. And when they do, they will delete everybody in that Discord server's Discord profiles. And it really fucks up everybody's day. It really does. So uh, there are rules in compliance with Discord's terms of service. That should be pretty obvious. Uh, to anybody, if you're on some platform, you are bound by their TOS. Weird how that works. It's not fun, but it's the way it is. Come up with something else and, uh, and, and then use that. That'd be great. I, I, wish, I wish it weren't so. But uh, it happened a short round. His Discord got nuked and several people... Um, who were also in my Discord, got nuked with it. And, like, their their accounts got terminated. And it was really, really a pain in the ass. It's the beautiful operant conditioning that social media platforms use. They get you into their product, they hook you in, and then they, they fuck with everything you get. They get you to use, oh, yeah, use it, get direct messages, do all this stuff, build these networks and relationships, get into other servers, and then one of those servers gets shut down, and boom, you're gone too to punish someone else. And then all of your direct messages, gone. All of those communications, all of those relationships and networks that you built, gone. You don't even know what you lose. Same thing happens with Twitter. When Twitter, uh, you know, took away my, my Twitter account, I had, I had DMs with a bunch of uh, interesting people. I had, almost, I had over 27,000 followers at the time. Um, and, and, that's just gone. There's no getting it back. I will never get even the records of those DMs. Um, I will never get access to... I can't subsequently get a different Twitter account and, and contact the people because some people are hard to contact back. You, you don't get it. You don't get that back. It's one of the very nefarious aspects of the social media canceling. And so, uh, so yeah, unfortunately, there are some aspects in Discord that have to be have to be followed in that way. I don't like it. I don't I don't like it. But it's the way it is. And uh if you don't like that, it's fine. But you know what you can do? You know what you can do 100% of the time in my Discord? You can make fun of me, you can make fun of the mods, you can make fun of yourself, you can make fun of everybody. And uh most of the time they'll make fun of you back, and it's fine. You can still do that. You never could not. So I'll say it again. Uh, okay. If you don't like it, don't do it. it. Isn't that what I told you to do? Do do you do not? Okay. They didn't mute you for making fun of them. They muted you for being a petulant bitch. But that's okay. You actually could have still made fun of them in at least two different rooms, just not in general. Uh, Amp of those guys says, I I'm confused what this person get pissed off about. Like what free speech was getting limited? None. None was getting limited. 
They could literally, there were still rooms in the server where they could say anything they wanted. They just got a one hour timeout from the general chat. That's literally it. So, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what else to tell you. That's still a limit. Let my foul. Uh, you know what's interesting? I never said you could make fun of the mods in the general chat at your leisure. So I guess if we want to get hyper technical on that false advertising. I didn't do it. You inferred that. But the reality is you weren't banned for making fun of mods. You're banned for being a cunt at the end of the day. So uh, so have fun with that. And uh, and I wish you the best. I really do. I, I hope you get your Vagisil and I hope you calm down or whatever and find some Discord community that likes likes having you. Go do it. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, let's get the super chats and then we'll move over. I'll invite Ken in just a second. Um, Dreyfon says, Nick, say his lines with the Greer lips. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I don't know where they are at the moment. I think, I think they're hidden. Uh, Andrew War Snowboard says, Twitter announced their new terms of service will go into effect on August 19th. Care to give them a look? Not right now. But soon, yep. You should get on Serpensa. Is a super base South African that went completely candid with what's going on in South Africa. One of the first person to have a Chinese YouTube. The Chinese YouTube. Um, let's see. Eric the Red says very common negotiation tactic. Trump wrote about the take the burger out of your pussy tactic in Art of the Deal. Well, you know, I did borrow a little bit, but I I modified it as well. And then um, Linda Marie uh, says, glad to see you in Good Logic stream tonight. I found you because Emily D. Baker covered the toddy drama. So full uh, circle moment as Trump and Kermit. Wait, how do I do Trump and Kermit? I don't, I don't know how to do this. Uh, please roast Kelly and her lawyer uh, slash supporters for what they did to Ken. Uh, they deserve it. Redact away. And then Eric D says, I defend the ban, uh, but your did you messages that caused this initial timeout? I don't know what that means. To me, it looked like the mods were timing out people for insulting mods, not spamming. But yes, you need a retard channel. Understand why they were so upset. Uh, I don't understand why they were so upset, but... I don't understand how anyone gets upset from Discord. Except me. Because I have to do... The, and this has happened several times. No matter what I say about Discord, somebody always comes to bitch to me about what's going on in it. And the last thing I want to do is wrangle, uh, wrangle people in the Discord. It is such a boring and horrifying thing. Um, I pity the mods that, that do it all the time. I, I, I hate it. What a, what a waste of everybody's energy and time. But that being said, um, yeah, the, the best thing is if you're upset at Discord, I guess just turn it off for a little bit. Walk away. Walk away. Or, you know, uh, write 15 messages uh, a second and, and post them all over the place as much as possible to, to spam everybody's day. And, and uh, the, the best part, um, cause I've, I've dealt with people like this before. You guys have to, uh, they're, they're all over Twitter. Um, they're the person that will never stop having a conversation. And so what, what they what the game is with, with this type of person is to get you wrapped up into responding to them. I don't know if it's because like their parents told them no granola bars or something, and this is where they take control of their life. Uh, maybe I've taken too many like foster parenting classes or whatever, but they need to have some control somewhere. So they do it by overly engaging uh, a subject and they will always, always, always have 
response, 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 response. If you stop responding, they'll keep responding for a while until they get the message that, that you don't do it. And it drives them crazy when you stop responding. It really pisses them off because it takes away that one thing that they really, really want and that they crave, and that is to control the engagement of someone else. So yeah, my recommendation to people when they encounter someone like that, just stop responding. There you go. They can they can scream into the void all day. But uh but yeah, that's that's how that's that that's the Discord drama. Let me see. Uh Okay. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.